Want the full story? <laughs> uh, yeah, we might. Should we? Go ahead, nigga. I ain't played this in forever. I remember this game kind of like the back, like the back of my head. For yeah, I'm about to get the full picture now. It sucks worse and worse every time. He doesn't like Sly Four. I just well, want y'all. A little backdrop for anybody who doesn't know who I am. Before there was Jeremiah Isaiah, there was my dumbass. Basically doing the same type of shit. Talking about video games, rapping, conspiracy, real life conversation. And the only reason I ever blew up on YouTube in the first place was because I started talking about this game years before it came out with my boy Matthew Anthony. So speculating on what was being discussed prior to E3 and all that. We talked about this game for two years straight before it came out. So once it finally came out, there was so much hype, we had to pretend we loved it. But when you I take a step back, take a beginning. deep breath and look at it again, the it's fucking Sly. atrocious. Sly this nigga does not like this game, bro. Because From it destroyed a, a, a beautiful franchise. Fact, this is what you call sequel like It can happen in movies and it happens with games too. Take a look and you'll see what we're talking about. Although, this is what pissed me off in the first place. In the company of a Sly was never Interpol in this cartoon fashion. Like the art Fox. style. She already and I off, had a already history, inconsistent. Which, well, it was animated, but it, it wasn't animated in this fashion. They didn't even bother to, I'm not to saying imitate, company without but a shock when you're carrying on and we the legacy of the series, but it's not considered imitation, on, the old it's considered back, consistency. I knew I There's no consistency here. A heist. Oh, bro. I should also mention that as a master thief, the other problem with this Realizing shit is Sly Cooper no used to be a lot more slick. His gear what you have here is a Paris. really family-friendly, almost geared towards kids type of vibe. Like a PBS cartoon or something. And Sly Cooper to me was always the first badass thing did was without bad Murray, language. The third like Will trio. Smith raps. Murray was our enforcer, Will Smith was dope. He's a dope MC. And the guy he could flow, he could spit, he could rhyme. Just never days. cursed in his music. Through the years, didn't make the him less of a badass. I mean, people might want to talk shit about him, but didn't make him less of a badass. Like it was always badass. They just didn't curse and they didn't show anything too graphic. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit. I mean, his father was murdered. Famous, and in the third game, they took it as far as to show a shadow of a hand grabbing him. Eventually, he was unable like, to find him to his death. But they don't show blood and gore, but you can still see it's a dark premise. I just like to bring to light the fact that this dude. His parents were murdered up, in front of him, Murray dropped everything to help and out. he was put in a foster care where he met lifelong Especially friends who all pledged together was to take down the people plan. that ruined his family with legacy Carmelita and stole it from him. By a new it's a serious ordeal. How he went from met up with the guys that death uh, oh, to being just this wacky, one-liner spitting jackass Bentley is the reason I have an issue with this shit. Thing. But that's deep this as fuck. Awesome. You don't like this time machine shit? No. Who the fuck you got a time machine? We were going to travel back this dude can't even fucking invent legs for himself to walk but he could go back in time. Here's the first thing I would do if I was paralyzed. I would go back in time and stop myself from ever getting Bentley paralyzed so I could fucking walk throughout the game and I could play as fucking Bentley on foot. Also, any Sly Cooper fans in the chat, can they speak to us? Comment if you like Bentley in a wheelchair better or Bentley on feet better. I personally enjoyed him on foot. Here slide we two. There was no About gameplay for Bentley in slide one, slide three, slide four is in the wheelchair. The same and I remember Sunzaro even saying to the executives when they were hyping the game up, they're like, oh, you know, you can't have Bentley without the wheelchair. I'm like, he's only in the wheelchair for one fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. You have a point. This scenery is pretty good. I always like the... Uh, the scenery in these games made me want to travel the world as a kid. I don't have to mention you as far as I'm concerned, voice acting wise, the dude who plays Bentley and the dude who plays Mario are inconsistent. The They're always switching Carmelita's the voice actor. Right. And somewhere along the line, she started having this like bit of Italian twang accent, which came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> That's also majorly inconsistent, but that dates back to the third game. So far, scenery and everything is great. Sly looks nothing like he did. As far as I'm concerned, his graphics look like downgraded. I think the, the 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 worst part about this game graphically is that I think it makes the PS the PS2 graphics look better. This dude introduced me to the Vita. Oh, I already lost. Died again. I'm gonna play this for you. <laughs> Here, take over for a second. I'll just talk shit. That's how I pull off some right. of my best moves. But I give credit where credit's due. Credit to give. I mean, you're just critical about this game because you notice the differences in comparison to this. When this game is compared to the uh, previous titles, that's it. There's really no issue. Do you remember what your original impression of this game was? 
I honestly went, in it, went into it with an open mind, for real. Don't you agree to a certain extent, though, that if you're going to have a game that's based around like you playing a part in a story ice. that's made to be intriguing, that the story and the script and everything should remain consistent? Like, for that type of game. For a game like Crash or Spyro, it doesn't really matter, but for a game like this, they kind of set it into play to matter. Yeah. Let me give you a perfect example. Alright. We're in B-Town. Baltimore, Maryland. One of the most dangerous cities in the fucking East. Now, when we pass those drug dealers on the street on the way to the Yo, street, let me tell you. Yo, yo, tell them about that when shit. When we pass those drug dealers that are working every corner and the tweaker is going to buy crack for them, who are fucking looking at us like we were ready to do something because we put our hands in our pockets. Uh, did we play that appropriately? Yes. Yeah. We knew how to handle some shit like that. If we, for some reason, wanted to rob those drug dealers, how serious would that be? We're putting ourselves at risk, we're trying to get some money, and that needs to be addressed appropriately. We're serious about it. Alright, Jerry, this is do or die. We could probably get shot. Alright, I'm gonna move in on this dude, I'm gonna swing on him, you get the cash, and let's be out and try not to die. That would be some serious shit. The example I'm trying to bring to light here is these dudes are trying to do a heist right now. They're not taking it serious. He's like, all right, Bentley, I'm going to get this shit. I'm going to come in with my cane. And Bentley's like, all right, Sly. And it's just like a big fucking game. It's not a game. Look, if he gets caught by one of these lights, he's done. See? Yeah. It's a big fucking game. I just like my shit to be believable, that's all. I know people always said I over set Sly Cooper. I just thought it had a really, really great original plot line, and then they lost it. Oh. Guess I'm a little out of practice. Do you say something, Sly? Uh, no. People always said I wanted it to be something it wasn't, but I think I'm speaking true to what it was originally. You have a different vision for it. You had a different vision for no, Sly for it. My vision, my vision's consistent with what the first game was. Like, I didn't invent the first game. The first game was a more serious tone. Like, it wasn't edgy and violent, but they, the characters took themselves seriously. Right. And I literally only wanted you to play this so like you could do whatever you did, because you had this shit planned in your head. <laughs> so how long are you going to prove your point, my nigga, for Sly Cooper? I give credit when I see something that's worth giving credit for. I mean, you admired the scenery. <laughs> All right, good. Then we out. All right, I ain't gonna lie. It felt hella satisfying doing this. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's Jeremiah and Sabo. From eastbound to beat town, this is how we sound on the motherfucking mic with these games. Sly Cooper 4 gets a zero rating from the beginning Shit, I got to the end. Oh, damn. Jerry's kicking ass though at this moment, so we'll let this rock. Jerry, thank you for having me on. My name's Kevin Sable. I do still have a somewhat existing YouTube channel called Kev Rock Entertainment. I do a little bit of gaming, a little bit of movie reviews. Hold on, hold on, nigga. Are you, you're plugging. You're plugging. Never mind, I'm not allowed to plug. Sign on, go ahead. Jerry. You ain't my house, nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Used to have a popular channel called Kev Rock Films YouTube. Um, if y'all like to come subscribe to me, I do much of the same shit as Jerry, just not um, as well. Boom. Wait, you don't ever talk shit about games? Do I ever talk shit about games? You only, like, do content on your channel for games that you, like, adore? Because uh, you talk some shit, but I don't know if I remember you actually, like, laying into a game like I do. I don't think I've ever done that nah. before, man. Nah. That just ain't me, like, I'm not too critical. I'm not too much of a critical person. Yeah, well, there's definitely some Crash games that aren't good. What Crash games that aren't good? The fucking the later ones. All right, nah, we're, late, late, late we're, we're not we're not discussing this, not today, because I'm about to break down why those games are fucking over exaggerated, and, and, and you know what, you know what, nah, fuck this, I'm not playing Sly Cooper no more. We going nah, you got me, you you just you triggered you, you triggered some memories, no, I'm yo. Trying to think, uh, class, crash at a time. Titans and Mono Mutant, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna tell you why those games are over fucking exaggerated in the community as the worst fucking things on the planet when really they're decent fucking games. Yeah, of course they're decent. No, 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 we're not. We're that beside. No, 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 they're not the same. If you're saying if people are saying Crash of the Titans and Mono of a Mutant are what bastardized the Crash series, then I guess Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash did too. Because apparently, when Crash took on the the racing genre in the park, that's what I'm saying. If Crash took on three different genres 
and two of those genres nobody had problems with, then what the fuck is the problem with Crash of the Titans? What, the aesthetic? Crash didn't get tattoos just for fucking aesthetics and looks. If you actually played the game and focused on the lore of the goddamn game, you will understand that it's actually a sequel. It's a follow-up to Twin Sanity. In Twin Sanity, his gloves was coming off. They were bound to come off somehow. The tribal tattoos on Crash actually glow on the Titans when you jack on the Titan. And those, that, th those tattoos connect to the mojo that you collect, which is what Cortex needs to become more powerful. Can we say they're less good than, like, the first five? Don't compare them to the first five. And secondly, Wrath of Cortex, I know that you love that game, but for, in, my in my opinion, that shit is a fucking busted up, broken piece of shit of warped that tries to be warped, but it can't be because it's too goddamn floaty. No, 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 no. What it is is it follows the layout of warped and brings it to the PS2. It follows the layout. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It does do that. But, like... <sighs> Wait, so you can insult Crash of Cortex, but I can't insult Crash. I'm not saying that. That's 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 no 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 no. Listen listen Titan? listen bro, listen. That's the thing people misinterpret with me because because when they when they're so passionate about something like oh, a, a, like, like 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 the past so fucking much yeah, that yeah, yeah. that's that's all Crash runs off of is nostalgia. The Insane Trilogy. Look at all these big ass fucking YouTubers doing videos on the Insane Trilogy. Because of that shit, I didn't grow when I did my series on the Insane Trilogy. It's all fucking nostalgia. That's all Crash ran off of. That's all niggas care about Crash for. It's fucking nostalgia. That series takes a step out of its comfort zone. It's deemed bad automatically. They're not looking at the product for what it is, but what they wish that it could be. But these fans keep thinking that, and, and this this even goes this even goes like into the fucking Sonic fan base. Niggas think that they own these series when really they don't. Radical Entertainment knew exactly what they were doing. If Crash of the Titans and Modern Mutant didn't exist, we probably wouldn't have even gotten the Skylanders Thumping Wumping Islands uh Thumping Wumping Islands pack. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. I'm fucking certain. Without his, like, without certain pieces of history, how would Crash become more of a versatile character? He can't just be spinning and shooting Wampa Fruit out of a big ass gun forever. Like, Crash of the Titans made him more versatile as a character overall. And if you look at Mario Odyssey, that game is obviously pretty inspired from Crash of the Titans because Mario can to use his hat and take control of anything around him, almost anything. Crash used the Aku Aku mask. He could control the mutants and titans and that was 10 years ago it was 2017 my nigga so you would refuse to say rate all the games greatest to least that you would never do something like that i understand you appreciate and love all the games but yeah it what, would be what, like sacrilegious if to... i if, if i were if i were to if i were to do that it would be very um i don't biased I guess it. I guess it could be kind of biased. I'm not 100 what, what, percent sure. What are, what are the fans saying? This what shit are, just got heated. What, what are the, the fans What are the fans saying? They're just. They're just like instigating. Like, oh shit, yo, oh, I'm shit. laughing hard yo, as shit. Just because yo, whenever was that my phone or yours? Nah, because whenever um people talk about these games, I hope nobody about to get on their phone with you because they gonna have to wait, my nigga. No, go for it. All right. So you got the fuck. They gotta. They so gotta. Wait. They gotta understand, man. Like this. Yo, it's been ten, nine to ten fucking years. You can't be sitting here still wanting. I just saw a tweet a few days ago, bro. Somebody said if you like Titans Air Crash, you know what they said? What? If you like Titans Air Crash, you take it up the ass. And I'm like, yo, get the fuck out my mentions with this cancerous, trash ass, garbage ass tweet. This is no, stupid. I'm not saying they're terrible. I'm, I, then, then what do you sound? I just never heard anybody. Listen, I, I appreciate the passion of Crash, but I, I just never heard anybody speak. On the level that you're speaking of sequels on, because I think most people, and just hear me out on this for a second, I think most people that love anything, okay, most people that love Tupac records, most people that love Terminator movies, Rocky movies, Star Wars movies, okay, let's just take it out of gaming for one minute, but then we'll bring it into gaming and hear my point for a minute. Most people that love Pac records, guarantee you will at one point or another make, make a comment like, oh, All Eyes on Me was better than... Tupacalypse. You know what I mean? Where mm -hmm. somebody would say, like, the Star Wars prequels weren't as good I mean, as okay, the originals. Okay. In gaming, I just sat here and ripped apart Slide 4. I love the previous three. Right. I just never heard somebody that couldn't quite admit that, like, you know, it doesn't make you hate the series that you love to admit that some of them kind of fall short as to what, like, the original trilogy was. Like, you notice there isn't a fucking Crash of the Titans reboot for PS4. It's just the original three. 
And look what you got up there right now. It's I'm playing the original Crash Bandicoot because it's, it's just dope. Because it's more co it's more convenient. Just because I'm playing this doesn't mean that I'm dis discrediting or devaluing the other games. Twin Sanity is not even a complete game, bro, and that gets more praise than Titans and Modern Mutant, which are complete games. And Modern Mutant actually does have open world, unlike Twin Sanity, that it false alluded to people. I don't even think alluded's a word, but it is. Yeah, but yeah, like that's a thing. And holy shit, nigga, you got a lot of water vapor in my house. I mean, my room. But the one, yeah, the one. Oh, all right, whatever. Um, the freak was I about to say. Uh, Modern Mutant actually. Like, I don't know, people people, people just look at the game, because I was the same way. Prior to me getting the game and experiencing it and noticing all these details, like, I didn't fucking care about Titans of Modern Mutant. I was scared to play them because I thought they were going to be so bad. But I was like, what, 13, 14 around the time? And that's, when I played them, I was like, oh, this, this, this isn't even that bad. I feel like if somebody that wasn't on the internet bought all 17 Crash games, like, minus, like, the obvious probably like mediocre ones like fucking uh crash purple and boom bang or some shit if you skipped those and got all the the crash games and played them without going on the internet i would even them? say without going on the internet this is my argument if you play any of these games on their own they're all fine because none of them are truly ass none of them are truly fucking terrible but here's the thing if you never played the first three sly games and you only played thieves in time it's close enough to what the original was that you can dig it fuck with the gameplay and enjoy yourself but once you compare it to where it stemmed from the first three in comparison from a viewpoint of making a comparison which is a subliminal subjective thing you say ah it kind of blows now you take crash twin sanity or you take crash of the titans mm -hmm and you play them without ever having played this fucking game that you're streaming right now. Yes. They're not bad at all. However, after watching you play this shit, which I would like to play in a fucking moment because this is a goddamn classic, if we were to switch right over to Crash of the Titans, I'd be like, this blows. But if we didn't play this at all, or I never played this and we put on Crash of the Titans, and that was my introduction to Crash, I would have been like, it's all right. They're all fine to stand on their own, and a lot of shitty sequels are like that. There's not a lot of sequels that are truly, truly fucking awful in this realm of the type of games that we're discussing on their own, as far as the product itself, its gameplay ability, storyline, and all the rest of it. But once you compare it to what it stemmed from, which is something as fucking dope as what these original games are, I would say even going to like the fourth game, or the fifth game, some Game Boy games, from the viewpoint of the comparison, that's kind of a subconscious thing. They're terrible. Okay, I gotta understand that. The reason why, and, and I understand why you even mentioned the whole like G, in the GBA games part. Crash Entrance on the Game Boy is my favorite one. That's my favorite one in the series. I think Fuck the yeah. I think the best in the series Fuck is yeah. Crash Two on PS One. However, uh, Crash of the Titans and Modern Mutant remain loyal to the series. In Crash Two, there was a digging ability. There was a digging level. Do you remember a level called Digging It or some shit? Mm -hmm. In Modern Mutant, you could dig. You, they don't. They 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 took what made Crash. They took one of the elements from Crash Two and used it in Modern Mutant as a mechanic. And uh, there are lin there are linear pathways just like this. The only difference is that it's not so. It's not. It's not. It's not literally this, like, it's not a linear pathway, and Twin Sanity, although it gave you more space to run around, it was still a it was still nothing but linear progression, and that game has, doesn't even have replayability, but that's just because the game was a rush, so that's a different story. The other thing is, the GBA games stand out, not stand out, but they're similar, they're, they might be good in your book, because they're literally just 2D versions of Crashes 2 and 3. That's it. Because Crash was always the same since Crash 1, 2, 3, 4, even to insanity to an extent. And the GBA games, minus Crash Purple Riddles Rampage. And because Crash Nitro Kart was hella similar to Crash Team Racing, that's why it sold well. That's why it's doing good. Just because it's nothing but fucking repetition and nostalgia. And I guarantee you 110%. Like how all these niggas took my shine when the fucking Insane Trilogy came out and nobody was around. I wasn't booming and booming like gazillion times the subscribers or growth or anything. But prior to Crash's fucking resurrection, if a new Crash game were announced tomorrow and it wasn't like this, it wasn't no fucking Insane Trilogy, it wasn't nothing like the past. Yeah, I would play this shit no, too. no, no, I'm saying nobody would care. None of these big YouTuber niggas would care because all this, this YouTuber shit with the Insane Trilogy of these fucking niggas getting early copies and shit, all of that 
it's off of nostalgia. Every fucking video, these niggas are always saying, "Oh, I remember this game. This was so. This was. This that's was the only my reason." This that was... shitty sequel holds up in the first place, and that's okay. That's what they're meant to stand on. Let me break it to you like this: a lot of people hate sequels in general, movie sequels, TV shows, adaptations, video games, right. the whole fucking spectrum. A lot of people are anti-sequel. The go-to line is you can never beat the original, which is true in effect. I always argued that you can't want the sequel to be the original. You have to understand exactly. that it stands on its own. Yes. However, when you do look at the original, like I said, it's a subconscious comparison that you can't help but make. You, you will never have games like this again. You will never have games like the first, uh, honestly, the first three Crash games. Even four, like you said, was just a play on the third game, which is fine. It stayed with the structure of the third game. A lot of games have done that. Slide two to slide three, and so on. There's different examples of that sort of gameplay transforming onto a sequel. But you will never have games like this again. The reason we fell in love with Crash is because of this style of gameplay of playing as this character. Now, when it stands on its own, it's fine. But that's the thing, too. Titans and Modern Men don't take away boxes. They don't take away spinning. Mm, he has no, he has new moves. He uses Aku Aku as a fucking slide. That, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I I literally. I, I, I like. I just like had a meltdown, low key. That's okay. Like you gonna beat me up or something? No, I'm not gonna beat you up. What the fuck? Those Nick motherfuckers about to stomp me out. Like, what the fuck you say about the Crash sequels? Oh my god, nah. Hold up, I'm not hear what this drug dealer is doing outside. Nigga, what don't fucking. Yo. What have I got?